Okay, so this is the C loops, aka psych loops, and this is kind of how it works. I'm just gonna play a track really quickly. And it's just a awesome free track I found on YouTube. And you can see it's syncing here. This is the beats per minute I can now sample. I'll wait for an appropriate time. This sounds good. Get started at any time. Whoa. That was interesting. Now you can actually hear if I crossfade back over. This is the track that I just sampled. You can see the track is pretty seamless. Fade back over to the original track. So each one of these buttons corresponds to a certain number of beats. So if I want to sample like one beat, I can. Another one. And if I switch back, you can see I've got kind of an endless drum loop there. Switch back to the original track. Another thing that's kind of interesting is that uh, each track, when it starts playing, can be shifted. So now I just shifted this off by a half beat. You can probably hear that's shifted off by a half beat now. Shift can happen per sample, like I just did, or globally. So I can shift it back a half beat globally by doing that. Especially useful if things start to sound a little like they're getting a little off, you can nudge them a little bit, get it back in sync. That's both tracks playing simultaneously. I have no idea what's playing on the other track, but there you go. So that's pretty much the whole thing. Um, any other neat tricks? Yeah, That's pretty much the whole thing. You can see it. Stays locked. Very nice. Uh, oh, yes, you can also do a non beat. Uh, you can lock your beat in and then just sample without listening to the input. So good for. Uh, instrumental phrase sampling as well. Thanks for watching.